Hello everyone, I thought it would be a good opportunity to touch base with you again. Quite a bit has changed since we last came together on Monday. You'll be aware that NAPLAN has now been cancelled for 2020. I think there's widespread acknowledgement across Australia that to conduct the benchmark testing of NAPLAN would not be a worthwhile exercise. I want to also assure you that the School Curriculum and Standards Authority, which determines compliance and programs for our college, as it does indeed in Western Australia, is working very hard to work out the best possible scenarios for our students, particularly in year 11 and 12, so that they are not disadvantaged by our current circumstances. You will be well aware that we are operating in quite extraordinary times. I have to say in 40 years in education, I have not experienced anything like this at all. So we are very much in uncharted waters. However, we do all have the best interests of our students and their future pathways at the forefront of our minds. So much discussion is happening about how best to progress in 2020 so that our year 12 students in particular are not disadvantaged with their future pathways. We're also putting a lot of time and effort and energy into preparing for remote learning so that classes and timetables will be able to continue should the college be closed. And of course, we do not know when that will happen, nor do we know how long that could be for. But we are preparing, as indeed everyone is, I know that uh, Wayne Revett has communicated with the junior school on what learning would look like in the event of a college closure. We are continuing to work on that and as some of you will be aware, we are doing the remote testing with our year 12 girls during period five and six today. I am very confident that the learning will continue. It won't be like the in-class face-to-face experience, but it will be the closest that we can get to that under the circumstances. Probably one of the best things to come out of the last week or so is the community spirit. The focus has shifted from concern around coronavirus to what can we be doing to remain positive, calm and genuinely look after each other. There have been some fabulous initiatives in the junior school. Today, the whole of junior school is dressed in their PJs. Yesterday, PACs went home to the Early Learning Centre students to keep them happy and occupied. The Year 12s had a very impromptu picnic and we enjoyed a beautiful dinner with our Year 12 boarders. I have to say, by observing the students around the school, they are positive, they are getting on with things. They understand that this is not normal times. They also understand that there's a lot of questions we can't answer, but they're managing that extremely well. So the strong focus this week has been on community spirit and well-being and positive messaging going out. It is really important in these times that we do focus a lot on well-being and initiatives to keep everyone calm and positive. We have had to cancel a number of events. That has been updated on our website. Today you will also receive a fairly comprehensive communication from me focused on frequently asked questions. So please take the time to read the communication and the attachments that go with that. There's a lot there, but hopefully it will just help reassure you how we have thought about the remainder of this term and indeed whether the college is closed or open. Our boarding house remains open. Yes, some people are making the decision to remove their daughters and bring them home early, but by and large, the college is still functioning perfectly normally. So I think that's probably all we really need to talk about at this point in time. Please read the communication carefully. A lot of information there that you may find useful. And perhaps we'll touch base again next week, should there be something different that we need to communicate with you. Thanks everyone.